Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your girl Miranda here. We're back with another episode of Super Lesbian Animal RPG. In this episode, we get a big info dump about Queen Verena. And oh no, Alice and Melody have a fight. And it's very, oh, it's very hard and heartbreaking. Relationships are hard, y'all. But I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you do, make sure you leave me a like or a comment. And if you want to watch more of my Star Pickup playthrough, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and we'll catch you all next time. Bye. A short time later. There. My force field should be able to keep them out while we regroup. Green Ridge is now officially under lockdown. Let's head back to my office. You four have got some explaining to do. Goddess of Magic. We're up against the Goddess of Magic. And the phones and internet are still down, so we can't contact the outside world for help. How the hell did this happen? Okay, for those in the room who are less religious or less magically inclined, can we have a refresher to make sure we're all on the same page? Like, obviously we vaguely know the basics, but how big of a threat are we dealing with exactly? Province can probably summarize this more eloquently than I could right now. Very well then. Cutscene! There are many myths about the gods, some easier to reconcile with our modern understanding of science than others. For instance, people used to believe the gods created the whole universe. But we now know about the Big Bang and all that. Many people still believe, however, that the gods are immortal beings from some other part of the cosmos who used magic to create reverie in our solar system. The story goes that they created our sun, set the planets in motion, seeded reverie with life, and make sure we didn't all go extinct. Whether or not this is true is up for debate. Even today, with most of the gods acting as public figures, they don't like to give the firm answers about reverie's ancient past. But we have no historical records of them ever not being here. So whether or not they created reverie, They've definitely been around for thousands of years, and are all super powerful, right? Correct. And for most of that time, they were the only ones on Reverie with any knowledge of how to use magic. Sorcery was considered the domain of the gods. It was what separated them from us mortals. But at the dawn of the Arcane Era, for reasons we don't quite understand, a member of the Pantheon decided to share her gift of magic with us. Then, she vanished. Think about how much magic affects your daily life. All our technology, our infrastructure, healthcare, transportation, communication, everything. That's all thanks to the Goddess of Magic. And supposedly, she and her new friend Verena are one and the same. Should we believe her? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Any bozo can just say they're a god, right? What does god need with a starship? <laughs> <laughs> I have every reason to believe she is who she says she is. I just... As a follower of her teachings, I have so many questions. Where could she have been all these years? If she regrets giving us her magic, why didn't she do something about it sooner? And who the hell is this Javis guy she's with? I'm not sure these are questions we're capable of answering. Look. You have to address the elephant in the room. There's an elephant here? Claire's not an elephant. She's a cow, she's a, she's a cow person. Claire, what did Verena mean when she said you're the reason she's here? I don't know. I'm not in her head. She's some kind of immortal, all-powerful goddess. I'm 21 and a part-time waitress. Claire, enough. Verena knows your name. She knows who you are. Why? Fine. What am I looking at? It's a spell book I borrowed from the Guardian's collection. It might not look like much, but the more I read it, the more I began to suspect, well, it belonged to the Goddess of Magic. What? Claire, why wouldn't you tell me about this? Why would you do this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not escalate things here. It's not like you were using it. Besides, most of the spell in the cell spells in there are for everyday tasks. I thought you wouldn't care. Lighting candles, healing minor scrapes, that sort of thing. These must have been the very first spells Verena taught anyone. It's all kid stuff at this point. I know that can't be all. I may have also... I may have used a ritual in that book to give Melody an Alice in Hell. 
You're kidding me. I'm not. Ugh, of course. I should I should have known something was up. I know you're all you've all been training, but to make so much progress so quickly, don't you realize how dangerous that was? You could have killed them. Just how much power did you give them? Only a little. Just a little boost to get them started. It's not a big deal. At this point, they're only about as strong as me and Jody. We don't need to make a federal case out of it. I think we do. Because whatever you did, it got Verena's attention. And now she's challenging us to challenging us to a fight to determine the fate of the planet. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. I get it, okay? This is all my fault and I'm a huge screw-up. But at least I'm trying to fix this. Fix this? In what reality have you done anything besides make things worse? You just... You just keep pulling these little stunts thinking you're invincible. And all it does is to put the people around you in danger. Do the consequences your actions have for others even cross your mind? Do you even care? God, if I had any sense, I'd hold you in the tower to make sure you don't do anything else foolish. I second this idea. No, don't take this all out on Claire. This is my fault. Faith, when you let Claire and me start this guild, I swore to you that I would keep her safe. I've clearly failed spectacularly to keep that promise. If anyone wants to take the blame here, it should be me. Jody. I think things are getting a little too heated. You've all had a long journey and probably need food and rest. And I've got a lot of options to mull over. It's getting late. Let's... Let's all talk about this in the morning. Oh. Let's see. <gasps> it's evil me! Good going back there. Oh god, you again? How are you still in my head? I've always been in your head? I'm just a magical manifestation of your innermost- Yeah, yeah, I don't need the whole presentation again. Anyway, way to save the town, Mel. You just let them get away, huh? Uh, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> What the hell was I supposed to do, huh? Oh, I don't know. Your job? I guess you're just leaving it in the hands of the real pros. Oh, shut up. I somehow ended up with the fate of the world in my hands, and I'm trying not to have a panic attack. Is that why you're running away? I just needed some fresh air. The last thing I need right now is your nagging. Oh, <laughs> lighten up. You know this is all a charade. If anything, Verena taking your magic away will be a blessing. Look how much trouble it's caused you. You'll get to quit pretending to be someone you're not and go back to being a regular, boring old Melody Amaranth. And Allison can quit pretending to be the supportive of this little roleplay phase. What a weight off her back. She's not pretending to be supportive. Allison really loves me. Both of these things can be true, Melody. You ever notice how many times she's brought up the idea of you quitting? Or how reluctant she is to even call you a paladin? She wouldn't. This is all paranoid nonsense. Just give it a rest. Melody? Oh, there you are. Been looking all over for you. You doing okay? I'm gonna be open and honest with my girlfriend. Not really. You wanna talk about it? This isn't what I wanted. I had no idea it would be like this. I thought I'd just tag along with you and take care of some minor wounds here and there, but no. If I wasn't here to heal you, you'd probably... You'd probably be... Come on, you're supposed to be the positive one. Tell me everything's going to be okay. Tell me we'll get through this. Melody, maybe we should quit. What? I'm saying, I don't think we should be the ones to challenge Verena. I hate seeing you like this. This isn't what I wanted either. We just wanted to fight some whole hounds and scrounge around for treasure chests and with our friends. And we were doing great. You were doing great. But now we've got a reality-bending freak and the literal goddess of magic ready to wipe our town off the map. But there's no one else who could, who could even hope to face Javis and Verena. That's the whole problem. What's our alternative? I don't know. Mel, I know you want this to work out. And believe me, I do too. But if something happens to you out there, I... If you got hurt, or worse, I can never forgive myself for letting it happen. I can't let you do this. What about everyone else who's counting on us? We can't contact the outside world for help, and Faith and the other paladins have to protect Greenridge in case this is all another trap. It has to be us. 
And I don't want my weakness to screw everyone over. Melody, that's not what I... I know it's not what you said, but it, this is what it's all about. We wouldn't be having this conversation otherwise. Face it, you've been practically babysitting me this whole time. You've tried being supportive out of pity, but even you don't see me as a real paladin. No one does. Well, you know I won't think of any less of you regardless of how you do as a healer. See? And you won't even call me a paladin. Why is that, Allison? Why do you suddenly care so much about being a paladin? <gasps> this is never something you wanted before. You only got the idea a couple months ago because I wanted to be an adventurer and you wanted to support me. I feel like I'm just... Like I'm just taking advantage of your kindness and you're afraid to tell me enough's enough. But we're so far beyond what you and I or any of us could ever handle. You don't have to put yourself through all this for me, Mel. What the hell kind of relationship is that? <laughs> That's not what this is about. And what is it about? I... I don't know, I just... Oh, Allison, I thought you were the one person who would always have my back. Oh, hey, come here. Look, I'm sorry for raising my voice just now. Why can't you say that you just believe in me? I do, Mel, but I, I'm not going to encourage you to get yourself killed. It's not what I need to hear right now. Mel? Just leave me alone. I think I need some space. Mel, I don't want to leave you in tears like this. Please, Allison. Okay, fine. That's what you need. I'll be back in my place. Oh. Sorry. I love you, Melody. <gasps> Evil me again. Wow. I hate to say I told you so, but... What, no comeback? <laughs> Fine. It's no fun when there's no back and forth. See you later. Man, relationships are hard. <laughs> Act four. Well, I did want to get through one. The next month. I'm just still stuck on this. I don't understand. Claire, why would you feel the need to use Verena's spellbook in, in secret? Are you kidding me? Faith, you must know how competitive of a field magic is. I didn't have any opportunities like other people did. I didn't even get to start seriously studying magic until I was already an adult. I've just been on my own here. If I wanted to have any hope of making it as a witch, I had to figure out a way to help myself. I get where you're coming from, Claire, but you didn't have to do this alone. I thought that maybe the guild would be a positive influence on you, but you're still making these rash decisions on your own when it comes to magic. Why do you assume that I wouldn't have helped you? Because no one ever does. Oof, I feel that. <laughs> Claire, I don't know what exactly your life was like back in Brightport. But things are different here. You have people who care about you. A support network. Yeah, and I'm an embarrassment to all of you. That's not... Oh, don't act like I don't know how everyone talks about me when I'm not in the room. I'll admit, I'm not happy about the mess we're in. But I'm disappointed in you because I know you're capable of so much better. Maybe I haven't been the best friend, but I would hope that you still consider me one. We can't keep up this vicious cycle, though. I want to help you, but you need to admit that you need help. Right. I'm sorry. I need your help, Faith. Thank you, Claire. Ah, perfect timing. Who's that from? This is a response from the one person who may be able to help us. Her name is Zinnia. She's my personal mentor and also a good friend. Oh, Zinnia, I've heard so much about her. We finally get to meet her, huh? I wish it was under happier circumstances, but yes. What about, um, what about Allison's mom? I feel like she'd be a good badass in the situation. <laughs> I don't normally like to bother her with problems around town, but this is no ordinary disturbance. We need to bring in the big guns. If anyone might be able to face Verena, I believe it's her. Claire, I'm giving you another chance to help out here. I want you four to go talk to Zinnia for me. Her home is in the mountains east of the Amber Woods behind a magically sealed gate. You'll need this key to get in. She'll be expecting you. 
<laughs> You're also free to investigate the valleys, since Verena said her base is in that direction. You can get there by heading north from the Amber Woods. Adventurers like to hang around there, so you may be able to find some help there, or at least get better gear. I'll leave that decision up to you. Dodi, one more thing before you go, dear. Sure, Faith, what is it? I'm sorry that I'm asking you to leave again so soon after getting back. I wish we didn't have to be a part of a time like this. No, it's okay. I understand. Your duty to Green Ridge comes first. And besides, I gotta take responsibility for this mess I helped get us into. I owe that much to you, at least. Well, anyway, I wanted you to have this. Face Locket? Ooh! Oh, it's beautiful, Faith! It's more than just a keepsake. I've been working on a way to keep in touch while the phones are out. If you hold this and channel just a little mana into it, it'll temporarily summon me to your location. Anytime, anywhere. Wow, but what if you're, like, busy? I have to accept the summon first, so don't worry about catching me while I'm in the shower or anything like that. I feel terrible that I can't be in two places at once, but this should be a happy compromise. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep in touch. Aww. Bye for now, sweetheart. 